So let's do our regular warm-ups and then some table-based things. So come into your mountain pose, feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Activate your core with the ribs in toward your spine and up, and your shoulders back and down. Spread your toes, stretch your spine, and take a moment just to breathe. And then keeping that inner focus, inhale, arms to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, and exhale the hands behind you. Lift your heart, press your fingers down, spread your toes, and stretch your head back. Pivot over as you exhale. And deepen. So lift your sitting bones, <clears throat> relax the back of your legs, tuck in your chin, move your head around, let the neck release, and then <clears throat> bend your knees slightly and keep the chin in as you come back all the way up and lift your heart. Stretch your head away, <clears throat> drop your shoulders, and don't forget to breathe. And then inhale upright and release your arms. Take a moment, <clears throat> feel that spine a little more activated. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> and relax your arms. And again, same thing. Arms at shoulder level, stretch out through the fingertips, down with the shoulders, hands to your heart, out to the front, and clasp the opposite way behind you. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, spread your toes, and then pivot again over. Take a moment and breathe. <clears throat> Sitting bones up. Move your chin around, and don't forget to relax. And then slowly move your knees to the front and your chest back up to the ceiling. Stretch your head away. And stretch through the spine. Inhale upright and release your arms. Okay, let's try that again. Let's do our side stretches. <clears throat> arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders. Pass them, clasp, and bring your arms back by your ears. <clears throat> Sitting bones down, stretch up through the head. And don't lean forward, just lean to the side. So keep the shoulders facing front, both shoulders, don't press forward. And push the foot you're leaning away from down. Get those ribs stretching apart. And then inhale upright, switch the other hand to the front, arms by your ears, stretch it out. Lean to the other side. <clears throat> and breathe. And then coming back upright, <clears throat> keep the shoulders down, arms back at your sides. Take a moment, feeling that spine a little bit more laterally activated. And we'll do our twist. Remember, stretch your spine apart. Keep the shoulders down, arms at shoulder level, palms to the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, and clasp your elbows. Stretch the spine apart and turn to twist. Spread your toes, take a breath, and exhale over. <clears throat> Deepen as much as you can. Keep the weight on both feet. Lift your sitting bones. Take a moment to breathe, and then slowly work your way up and lift your heart. Shoulders down, elbows back. Take a few breaths, just relax. And then inhale upright, turn to the center, and switch your arms. And again, lengthen through your spine, and twist the other way. Take a breath. Exhale over. Deepen as much as you'd like. <clears throat> and again, just take a few moments to breathe. <clears throat> Slowly work your way up. And lift your heart once more. So remember, no pressure in that low back when you're twisting. Take a breath or two, stretch through the spine. And remember, keep your shoulders toward your waist. 
Inhale, upright. Exhale, round to the center. Arms up and shoulders down. Swan dive forward and stretch. Exhale and release. Just deepen into that ragdoll position. <clears throat> Pull in a little deeper. Hands behind your legs, if you like. And then again, arms to the front, winding your way back all the way up. Take a moment as you get to the top, stretch out through the crown. Find that spot out in front of you, bringing your feet together, and we'll do a little balance. <clears throat> so come up with your heels off the floor, hands above your knees, and lift the heels. Just concentrate on that spot. Keep the spine straight. And find your balance, spreading your toes, stretch it out. And then roll back and forth onto your heels and your toes. Just work the bottoms of your feet a little bit. <clears throat> and then back into mountain pose, shoulders down, relax your arms, and crown to the ceiling. Hands to your heart, inhale, bringing them toward the ceiling. And thumbs toward the back, coming into your back bend. Another swan dive, coming forward, pivoting all the way down. Take a moment there, and then slide your hands up under your knees and straighten everything. Elbows, spine, and knees. <clears throat> bend your knees, come to the floor. So let's transition into child pose. <clears throat> Sink your forehead down, shoulders down, and relax. And then bringing your hands to the front, <clears throat> pivot up, knees under your hips, toes straight back, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. So remember your precautions. You want the ribs up, supporting your spine, so your low back stays straight, not sinking down. If your wrists have an issue, then you can fold the mat and put your heel of your palm on the fold so that it's not quite as intense. Or you can put your fist down with the ring part of your finger down and eliminate that bend totally. Anytime you need to, pick up your hand, circle the wrist. So take a moment there, get your whole body straight, and then inhale and bring your ribs down toward the floor, hips up, and look slightly forward. So it come into a little back bend while you're in table. So let those ribs come way down toward the floor, and then tuck your sitting bones down and forward, lift the ribs, tuck your chin in, a little forward bend. And then inhale, coming back to neutral, stretch your spine. Exhale, turn and look toward one foot. Feel the ribs on the other side, stretch. Keep your spine as straight as you can. And then turn back to the center and to the other side. Get a little stretch on that other rib. And then again, back to the center. Stretch through the spine, keep those ribs up, keep supporting the low back, and don't forget to breathe. And then we're going to go into a little balance. So bring your right foot back up to hip level, stretch it out, and then bring your left hand forward, stretch it out. So arm at shoulder level next to your ear, Put it hip level as much as you can. Stretch out through the base of your toes and your fingers. And keep that core active, supporting your spine as you're in the balance. Stretch it out. Lengthen a little bit more. Stretch it a little bit more. And then bring your heel back down. And your knee back in. And circle that from your wrist. Take a moment to bring it in. Finding your table position once more, getting ready, of course, to balance your body. So we'll bring the left foot back and up to hip level, and the right arm out next to your ear. Stretch it out. Keep that core active, supporting your spine, both hips even toward the floor, 
those shoulders even as well. Stretch it maybe a little bit further, fingers and toes away from each other. Breathe into it, keep that core supporting your back. And then again, hand to the floor and knee down, circle the wrist and sink back, hips toward your heels, both arms forward, and let your head come down with the pose. Take a breath, just relax. And then inhaling, come on back up into table position. Get those <clears throat> ribs up to support your spine. Keep the shoulders, shoulder blades toward your waist. And stretch your spine in front. And we're going to do some variations on our table position bends. So the first one we'll do is, again, bring the leg up, right leg up, hip level, hips facing the floor, and left arm out. Just as we did before. Stretch it out, lengthening. And we're going to bring the right arm, no, the left arm to the left and the right foot to the right. And just give ourselves a little alternate switch and stress. Stretch. Take a moment and bring your foot back and your arm back into your starting position. And then hand to the floor and knee down. And again, circle your wrist if that feels like needed. Take a moment to breathe as we get ready, of course, to do the other side. Ribs up, supporting your back. And bring your left foot out and up to hip level. Again, keep stretching it out. And the right arm next to your ear. Stretch it out. And bring the right arm to the right. And the left arm. No, the left foot to the left. Again, stretch it out at that angle. Take a moment and breathe. And then bring the arm back in, bring the foot back in. And then the hand and knee to the foot. Once again, go ahead, round your back and stretch the hips back. And bring the forehead down, circle those wrists. Put all that stress out of your arms and hands. Take a moment and breathe. And then slide your hands forward, bring your forearms to the floor. So the hands are right in front of your shoulders, elbows right under your shoulders, and your hips and knees and feet aligned. And we're going to go into a forearm plank. So bring your feet back and straighten your knees. Get those ribs up, supporting your low back as you come into your plank position. So your whole body as straight as you can from your hips all the way to your shoulders as well as down to your heels. Remember, you can push your hips up a little bit, but don't let them sag. You want to keep that core supporting you in your plank. Take a breath, stretch those heels back, keep the shoulders toward your waist and the crown toward your hands. Take another breath and then lower your knees and push back and your hands sliding back again into wisdom pose. Circle your arm wrists and your forearms. Let those arms get a little release bringing them back next to your feet. Take a breath, just relax. Full spine getting a good stretch. And then once again, we're bringing the hands to the front, coming back into our table position. So remember, do your adjustments if you need to. Get that core activated, supporting your spine. Stretch the sitting bones and crown away from each other and the shoulders forced forward in the waist. Once more, bring the left, right foot out up to hip level and the left arm out in front next to your ear. Stretch it out and then bend your foot, bring your foot up to the ceiling and flex the foot. 
and turn your palm up toward the ceiling. And then raise the foot and the hand a little bit more. So you're coming into a little back bend this time. Ribs coming slightly down. Shoulders are still even, hips still even. Just let those ribs drop. Let the foot and the hand go up. And then straighten the leg out and the hand, turning it toward the floor. And bring your hand to the mat and your knee back down and circle your wrist. And of course, we'll do the other one. So once again, left foot up, up to hip level, the right arm next to your ear. Stretch it out, keep that core active, supporting your spine. Once more, bend your knee, flex the foot, turn the palm toward the ceiling, and raise the hand and foot as you drop your ribs a little bit, coming into a little more back bend. Take a breath. Push the hand and foot maybe a little higher. And then straighten things out, palm back toward the floor, and then hand to the mat and knee to the foot. Once again, round your back and push back into those two pillows, head toward the floor. Take a moment, go ahead and circle your wrists if that's helping. Just relax. Let your whole spine get a little stretch. And then inhale, sitting up on your heels. Take your hands, fingertips toward your toes, right next to you, and lift your heart coming into a little back bend. Chest forward and up. Don't lift your chin too high. Remember, you want to make sure you're stretching through the back of your body. And that includes your neck. And then tuck your chin slightly forward. Release your hands. And again, come all the way down to child pose. Take a moment and breathe. Let your shoulders relax. Exhale any tension. And then we're going to bring once again the hands to the front and come up into our table position again. Knees under the hips, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up, core activated. So this one's a little tricky, but it's a little balancing. What we're going to do is we're going to do the hand and foot on the same side that we're lifting. So this one's a little balancing. Remember, you may need to make an adjustment with your hands slightly in or out to get that balance supporting you. Bring your right foot back up to hip level, just like we've been doing. Keep the hips facing the floor for now and that shoulders even. And then we're going to take the right hand. We're going to rotate the hip to the front, right above the other hip, and bring the right hand up to the right hip. Yes, so it's a little balancing. Take a moment there. Push out through the foot, out through the crown. Get those shoulders as lined up and hips as lined up toward the side as you can. And then bringing the hand back down, bringing the foot, knee back down into table position. So we're going to do the same thing, of course, to the other side. I'm just going to turn around so you can see what we're going to do. So again, knees and hips lined up, wrist elbows and shoulders lined up. You want to bring that hand up or in a little bit for your balance. And again, bring the left foot out up to hip level. Keep everything even as you start. And then as you rotate the hip above the opposite hip, bring the left hand up to your hip and look toward the side so you're all straight. Take a breath there. Get your balance. In and out if you need to. Remember, personal practice, do what you are doing. Pay attention. Exhale, tension. And then again, hand to the floor. 
knee back to the mat, and sink back again into wisdom pose, releasing both wrists. Take a breath, just relaxing. And again, sit up on your heels. Take a moment as you get onto your heels, make sure your spine is nice and straight, crown toward the ceiling. Exhale, on the tension. Down, up, shoulders back and down. Core still activated, and don't forget to breathe. And then we bring the hands to the front and into our table positioning once again. So take a moment there, just breathe and relax. And again, we're going to bring the foot out up to hip level. We rotate, bringing that hip above the other one, rotating your shoulder, coming into your starting position. And then take the arm up toward the ceiling, if that works for you, and next to your ear. And again, get your balance first. Make sure that you're doing what you need to do to get that everything supported evenly and get everything hips lined up, shoulders lined up, on coming straight in the line from your toes through your head and fingertips as much as you can. And then bring the hand up and back and around to the floor and your knee back down, coming into table position. Getting ready, yes, to do that same thing to the other side. Circle your hands if you need to. And make sure you're all lined up and activated in table position. Once again, as you get into your wrist, elbows, and shoulders, fingers spread position, get that core activated, supporting your low back. Knees, hips, and ankles lined up. And then the right or the opposite leg comes out hip level. When you're ready, rotating and turning hips above each other, bringing your hand first to your hip. Keep that foot stretching out. Make sure you're aligned properly so that you're balanced. You need to make your adjustments. Do that first, coming into your position. When you're aligned and balanced, you can bring that arm in the air up and over next to your ear. Again, stretch it out as much as you can. Take a moment and breathe. Lengthening through the foot, through the fingers, through the head. And then bringing the arm up and back and around to the floor. Bring the knee back down again. Circle those wrists, coming back again into waist and pose. Forehead to the mat. Stretch out through the shoulders, relax, circle the wrists. And once more, if you'd like, into child pose, hands next to your feet. Take a breath. Don't relax it. And then inhaling, come into a seated position, bringing your legs out to the front into scap position. Take a moment there, just breathe, feel that core, lots of work through that low back. Hopefully it's not overstrained. Make sure that core supports you at all times. Shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. You can stay in staff position with your legs straight, especially if your knees feel like they did some work there under you in our table positions. Or you can come into a cross-leg position, but remember, we're creatures of habit, so reverse those feet and just relax. Keep the core active, and we're going to work the neck just a little bit, releasing the shoulders after all that work that they've been doing. So chin into the little throat center indentation. Exhale any tension. And then bring your hands one at a time to the back of your head. Just release any tightness. Let everything relax. Deepening into that forward bend through your neck area, letting it release any tightness. And 
And then just relax your hands back to your lap and tip your chin up. Lengthen through the back of your neck as you lift the chin. Stretching, keep the shoulders, shoulder blades down toward your waist. And then tip your head back upright. We're going to do the sides of the neck next. So go ahead and tip your ear toward one side. Keep both shoulders down, just relaxing. Allow your whole body to feel the stretch just gently through that side of your neck. When you're ready, decide you're tipping toward, bring that hand up to the outside of your head. Just add weight, not pressure. Just adding a little weight so that the ear wants to come down maybe a little further. If that feels good on the stretch on the side of your neck and shoulder, you can bring your opposite hand down to the floor. And again, just maximize for the extent your neck needs, relaxing through the shoulder, through the neck muscles. Exhaling, don't push, just let it stretch. And then release your hand from the floor and the one from your head. Tip your head back upright and switch your legs so we can tip to the other side. And again, shoulders staying down, crown reaching up, shoulders back and down, tip your ear over. Just relaxing, breathing, allowing that stretch to happen. Stay there if that's good, or the side you're tipping toward, bring that hand to the outside of your head. Again, just weight, not pressure. Letting the ear come as far toward the shoulder as it wants, not forcing anything. And if that's good and you want a little more, hand to the floor. And again, just breathe into it, relaxing that side that's stretching, allowing the, twist, the stretch to happen as you breathe. No forcing, no pushing, no overdoing. Just let it relax and happen. Breathe into it. And again, releasing the hand from the floor and your head, tip your chin back to the center. Take a moment as you breathe, feeling that stretch through your spine, and bring your hands to the sides. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, overhead, and as you exhale, turn into a twist either direction. So the hand comes to the outside of the leg in front and the one behind you to the floor right near your bottom. Stretch from the sitting bones up and the side you're turning away from, let that hip come slightly up as you turn deeper into your twist. Take a breath, just relax into it. And then as you breathe in, turn back to the center, raising your arms and bring them back out to the floor. Switch your legs, and we'll go the other direction. Again, stretching the spine, arms out over your shoulders, stretch it up, and exhale into a twist. Hand to your knee, the other one behind you, close to your body on the floor. Stretch from the sitting bones up, lift the hip you're moving away from slightly as you turn hips, ribs, and shoulder into your twist. Take a breath. Just relaxing. Deepen your twist as much as you like. And again, inhaling, bring your hands back up as you turn to the center and exhale it down. Feet to the end of the mat, coming into staff position, activating the core as you lower to mat. And as you come all the way down into your relaxation position, just let your shoulders release down. Let your belly finally soften. Allow your toes to turn toward each other and then release. And just let your body soften and sink into that surface beneath you, feeling the earth support, letting your body go. Deep breath in. Exhale, just relax. Lots of work through those arms and shoulders today, so just maybe move them around a little, releasing any tension and tightness. Exhaling, letting the belly soften. 
Just sink your body with each exhalation into that earth embrace and let it go. Softening all your muscles, releasing any tension. Deep breaths in, exhaling, sinking deeper. And as you do, just allow thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. And know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Let them go as well. Breathing deep, letting the thoughts flow away. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. It's the job of your mind to just produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Let them go. No need to pay any attention. Just let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. Body sinking into the earth embrace, your mind just floating. Let your awareness release your body and your mind. Focus inward, find the peace within. Breathe into it and relax. Finding peace, being peace. And of course, if you have time to keep relaxing the bed, just relax as long as you need. If it's time to reactivate for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just stretch your body gently, however feels right for you today. Maybe moving your wrists and ankles, knees, stretching and breathing. And of course, when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sit your arms toward your heels, draw your heels toward your hips and your knees up to your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And whenever you're ready to release that, bring your head and feet to the floor. Roll to the side and sit back up, getting ready for your day today. Thanks for joining me.